we found the reason why we found the the steering book was running it wasn't being hunted but it did spot something we didn't something with spots to male cheetah now i actually had already left this area and i drove and i saw their tracks and then i knew exactly why that steering book was behaving like this there you go we were speaking about cheetah earlier and here we've got two beautiful males We've got to go quickly. I'm going to try and get a bit closer because they're about to cross our boundary. Ah, oh, yay, how exciting is that? The third biggest cat that you get out here in the wild and the fastest animal. And they've just spotted the wildebeest. We're going to stop and we're going to switch off because the wildebeest haven't seen them. Don't want to mess up their hunt if that's what they want to do. Look how still the one in front has gone. Aren't they beautiful? They're stalking. get close to a bush they're still quite far away from the wildebeest they're not going to sprint yet they're gonna they're gonna keep gonna get closer and closer staying behind the trees for as long as possible and only when they're close enough are they going to start to run there are the wildebeest there in front of me so they're still far away These cheetah are empty bellied. They're very, looking very, very hungry. So we can stay with, watch them for now. They're just going to creep up bush by bush by bush. A tight bond between two male cheetah. Look at the way it's looking. Stalking together. You can see how much bigger the one behind is than the other. Lined are oh, perfect. Beautiful. They've decided to stop for now. Just enjoy a bit of roll in the dirt. You guys wanted to know how fast a cheetah can run, and the answer is about. 100 kilometers per hour which is e they can easily run 60 to 70 probably about 70 miles would be the fastest that a cheetah can go see how carefully they're concentrating and watch their tails twitching from side to side just like your pet cats might do you guys wanted to know how come I knew it was they were boys what what is the difference between a male and a female cheetah and there's a couple of differences but for the most part it's actually really difficult to see the difference but a female cheetah is always almost always on her own unless she has babies with her so if she has cubs then they will be with her, otherwise she moves about on her own. But cheetah males hardly ever are on their own. What they do is they form what's called a coalition of brothers. Look how orange his eyes are. So brothers or cousins will move about together because having lots of them helps to, for them to keep a territory. Oh, big cat stretch. A big yawn, see those fierce teeth. Unfortunately, Mr. Sneed's class have to go about the rest of their school day, but I'm so glad that you got to see the cheetah. So I'm going to say goodbye and thank you from Dave and myself. 
I hope you have a wonderful day, kids, and maybe we will see you next time on Safari. Bye-bye. Now, for the rest of our audience who are still with us, of course, and I certainly hope that you are because this is an exciting moment, just bear with me for one second because I need to call these cheetah in. Stations, if anyone can copy me, I've got two Madura Shkankank on the Mala Mala boundary of the CP open. Look at them sneaking forward. Using the trees as cover, the wildebeest remain completely unaware. They've got one disadvantage, that big female is between them and the calves, and it's the calves that they want to go after. Oh, they're getting closer now. Stalking in. And we're just gonna be quiet for the moment. Cheetah have such a low success rate that the last thing we want to do is jeopardize their hunt. Luckily, we've got this open plane in front of us. I'm actually going to take 